your crown chakra is uh, known to be the highest on your body to the heavens. So your hair is also a part of that. Your hair is meant to help connect you to that divine source. And if you've ever known one of your woman elders, whether it be your mom, your grandma, auntie, tell you to wear a hat outside when it's cold, wear a hat to protect your head and wear gloves and footies to protect your hands and feet because heat escapes out of the extremities. When you lay hands on somebody else, that's con conducting energy. So you know that the crown of the head is an extremity that that's conducting energy outward as well as in outward toward the heavens. And so when you cover that up, whether it be a hat, a head wrap, a scarf, it's not just keeping heat in to keep you warm, but it's also protecting your crown. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back to Holistic Flow. I am your girl Lolo. In this video here today, we're gonna talk about locks and spirituality because somebody requested it. And I haven't done a video on this in a long time, but I have some new perspectives. When I first made this, this video or a version of this video, I was in a whole different headspace and didn't have nearly as much experience with locks as a matter of fact i had just started my locks when i made this video right here on locks and spirituality and it was a it was still a really good video and it still resonates with a lot of people but you know you never really have the experience until you have it right so back then i I was just like starting my locks. I literally was left probably a month in or like less than a month in, but I didn't know exactly why I wanted to start my locks and what my intention with my journey was. And I think that your intention is very important when you're talking about starting a new journey. So boom, let's get right into it. Um, I personally have been on my lock journey for about a year and a half, two years, two years and a half now. I started in November of 2020, November 14th, 2020 to be exact. And since then it has been the best, one of the best decisions I have made in my life. It has brought me so much perspective, so much joy, and it has kept me <laughs> protected from so many things that otherwise I feel like I wouldn't have been as protected from, which let's get into that first i guess the reason why locks are spiritual for a lot of people is because you've probably heard that they are spiritual protection i've come to learn that locks are either a magnet or a force field and they act that way in different various situations the reason why i say that locks are a magnet is that locks conduct energy let's just backtrack and talk about afro textured hair i know a lot of people who have locks do not have afro textured hair they have a uh, finer hair and or straighter hair but most people who do have locks have afro textured hair and the history of where locks came from are of people with afro textured hair so i'm just gonna focus on that because it resonates with me how afro textured hair when you have loose natural hair it's in the wave of either s shape s curl kink coil whatever you want to call it nap even naps whatever you want to call it i don't feel like that's degrading or offensive to call hair naps because i think it to me it's a compliment it's a compliment when you have hair that is in that shape that shape that spiral shape or that s shape or that coil is the shape of creation if you look at anything that conducts energy such as a energy wave a microwave a cell tower they're all in the shape of some type of wave because that movement, that spring, that coil is what conducts electrical energy in many different ways. Number one, you know how our hair, Afro textured hair, grows toward the sun, it grows up and out, right? It grows toward the sun just like a plant. And what I've learned is that Afro textured hair conducts energy from the sun into our Hair. That helps our body become fed with the minerals of the sun and the minerals such as calcium, phosphorus, vitamin D. You've probably heard of sunbathing or, or charging your locks because that charge from the sun, that energy, literally like a battery, 
is what helps our body stay energized and on a high vibration. Some people call it vibration, some people call it frequency, but that charging your locks, allowing your locks to soak up the sun, just like a flower is getting fed from the sun is charging the energy of our body. So that is how our hair helps our body get its nutrients and conducts energy and continues that form of creation. If you look in the Milky Way, the Milky Way galaxy has all these swirls in it and who knows what's beyond the Milky Way? Who, at least who on earth, right? Knows what is beyond the Milky Way because according to our knowledge, it has not been discovered. That just goes to show that everything even beyond the Milky Way is creation. There is still creation there and what it holds we don't know the extent of but that's just how powerful our hair is we don't even know the extent of what our hair is capable of we're not fully in tune with all of it all of it but we can learn to become in tune with it so because of that that charge from the hair and the energy being conducted from the hair locks are all of those afro textured hairs coming into one and all of that energy just being bunched up together the more you grow out your hair the more that you grow out your locks that energy will be kept with you and that's why locks are magnetic locks are energy and they are spiritual protection because the more that you keep that energy stored and the more that you protect also your crown which i'll get into in a little bit you are able to protect yourself from negative energy that tries to penetrate your for lack of a better term force field so locks can also be a force field against negativity that tries to come in into your energy into your aura into your whatever your your little bubble it's like stay six feet away at all times like don't come near me because you'll you can find you might find that you'll be in situations say you were like in one setting and then you move to a different setting and then you find out that when you were in that that new setting you look back and see the place where i just was at is chaos going over there but i decided to come over here where there wasn't chaos so the chaos just missed me but if i was in the wrong place at the wrong time i would have been in the midst of chaos but instead i'm in the midst of peace and serenity or whatever is good for me where I currently am, if that makes sense. So there will be situations where you can actively see when your locks were protecting you because that that spiritual protection, divine protection is always with you stored up in your hair. It's an antenna. And going back to just really quick, like the whole, you know, galaxy thing, how the galaxy even has the shapes of a spiral of creation that can also be a symbol to not lean on your own understanding because what we don't know is anything beyond the milky way i mean we know all the planets in the solar system are there we don't even some of us don't even know for sure if there's other life forms there but i definitely believe that there are we just haven't really discovered exactly who or what they may be but even beyond that is unknown and Throughout your journey, you might find yourself learning to not lean on what you know, but instead simply surrendering to everything that you don't know and humbling yourself. And that, I mean, that just, that part just goes right there. It just goes really deep because we don't know everything in creation. We don't know everything under the sun. Sometimes when we get fearful, when we're fearing what's gonna happen in the future or when we're fearing our current present moment because we feel like we're in danger we can we just shouldn't lean on what we have now like we shouldn't lean on the information that we have now because we are in knowing of our own thoughts and of our own heart but you just can't control what you don't know but the creator because we are creation the creator knows all things so we should just surrender to that surrender to god surrender to spirit surrender to source and that is what I've learned. The main, one of the main things that I've learned to do on my lock journey, which ultimately is a spiritual journey, which is why locks and spirituality correlate with each other because it goes deeper than simply knowing that your locks are protecting you. So getting into protecting your crown, you've probably heard that saying a lot and you probably know that the crown is 
right here on the tippy top of your head. It's interesting that when babies first are born, they have a soft spot right here on the crown of their head. And that soft spot hardens over their infancy. That spot right there is known to actually be the crown of your head where your wisdom your 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 information your downloads even if you've ever heard of spiritual downloads that wisdom or that guidance from source from god is connected to the top of your head which is where your hair is so chakras if you're not familiar with them are energy centers there are known to be seven main chakras in the body many know the third eye chakra the crown chakra the throat the heart the solar plexus which is above the diaphragm below the belly the sacral chakra which is the reproductive sexual organs and then the root chakra our lock our, our seat so the seven main chakras are known to be energy centers and when one may be off balance or out of alignment we may not be feeling our best but your crown chakra is uh, known to be the highest on your body to the heavens so your hair is also a part of that. Your hair is meant to help connect you to that divine source. If you've ever known one of your woman elders, whether it be your mom, your grandma, auntie, tell you to wear a hat outside when it's cold, wear a hat to protect your head and wear gloves and footies to protect your hands and feet because heat escapes out of the extremities. The extremities are your, your hands, your feet, and your head. We already know the hands and feet, you know, they have a lot of different um, neuro what is it called neurons um neurotransmitters on them that means they transmit energy when you lay hands on somebody else that's con conducting energy so you know that the crown of the head is an extremity that that's conducting energy outward as well as in outward toward the heavens and so when you cover that up whether it be a hat a head wrap a scarf it's not just keeping heat in to keep you warm but it's also protecting your crown protecting that energy because it's like a portal as well for those who may be bald um that's fine too rock your bald baldness but a lot of people who are bald also wear hats they may wear hats more than the average person who has hair because it's probably a innate thing that we know but we're not conscious of it because we know innately that we need to protect our crown and if there's no hair there or no energy there then you want to protect that too. I actually haven't covered up my locks in a long time, um, but I do want to get back into wearing head wraps. I did wear them a lot in the beginning of my lock journey, but it was mostly because I wasn't all the way comfortable with wearing my locks within the first five or six months of wearing them because they were short, they were fuzzy, and they were people were asking them, you know, when I when was I going to take out my two strand twists? Um, but I want to get more into covering my locks again because i know that when i did cover them i felt more protected and especially when i meditated you know listened to my breath noticed my body or prayed while i was having my head covered it was a different experience than without my head covered if you know what i'm talking about hey really quickly do you value feeling seen feeling heard and connecting with a community who also wants to do the same? Do you often experience mental fatigue, stress, anxiety, and a lack of structure or routine in your day? Do you want to manage your stress levels better, develop a better relationship with yourself, and get clear on your personal goals in your life? Well then becoming a Holistic Fit Meditation member would be great for you. I help beginner practitioners lead life with less stress, less mental clutter, and more joy so they can reach an overall more holistically fit lifestyle through yoga practices and mindfulness meditation techniques such as breath work, present moment awareness, and noticing stress and anxiety built up in the body, not only mentally, but also physically. As a member, you'll get access to live and on-demand classes three times a week at your own schedule, at your own time. And plus, we do community convos 
once a month so you can connect with our community with like-minded individuals who are going through the same thing as you we get to connect with each other share our experiences and celebrate our wins in just three to six months you can expect to experience results such as a lowered overall heart rate improved mood less stress and more focus and concentration in your everyday life to become a holistic fit meditation member you can go to my website at holisticfitmeditation.com and click on memberships or click the link in the description box that says become a holistic fit meditation member and i hope to see you practicing soon another fellow youtuber that talks about logs and consciousness that i watch here and her name is sammy the god and she was saying that she watched another youtuber that i, I don't watch but had some good pointers about why some women may wear wigs or a uh, crochet or a wig or or something that really covers your crown because when you wear your hair out sometimes we feel really vulnerable like because your hair that's your energy that's really a part of what's inside and when you have that out and exposed you may not always feel the most protected and it may feel a little bit vulnerable especially in the beginning of your natural hair journey of any kind whether it's a lock journey or whether it is a loose natural hair journey but she was saying that the reason why a lot of people may wear wigs is because they they want to attempt to cover up that vulnerability and protect it. You know, I don't think there's anything wrong with wearing wigs or crochets or whatever method that you choose to cover your head up. But it's it's part of that unconscious thing that we innately know that we need to protect our crown, but we do it in different ways, whether it is a scarf head wrap when you have locks or when you have loose natural hair, that protective style, because you're protecting what is the most precious and vulnerable to you. But she was saying, even though all of those forms of protective styles are very protective, locks is like the most protective style that you can ever have over any protective style. And I've realized that recently too. Locks are your protection. All of your hairs, all of your energy, bunched up into one and it just goes back to you know your the sun being able to charge your energy like a flower that feeds itself that photosynthesis i saw another video uh tiktok by this um tiktoker by the name of divine insight 99 and he had a couple of numbers behind his at name that i didn't get but i'll put that at on the screen if i can find it he was talking about how we are anatomically similar to plants like we think that our hair is like a plant but it actually is a plant it literally is a plant he was saying when you when you when you look at a tree stump when you cut that tree down there's rings around the tree right well when you shave somebody's head off fully that is the same pattern that you see on the scalp those rings right he was saying also look at your your fingerprint that's the same pattern that's on your fingerprint you're saying when a tree is rooted down into the earth, the way that the branches and the roots spread out underneath the soil is the same way that our veins of our heart spread out and the vessels spread out. And when he said that, I just had a huge revelation. I'm like, wow, you know, we see plants and, and other forms of creation as something that we just pass by sometimes. We're not even as in tune with it as we should be, that we can actually communicate back and forth with nature. And so with all that being said, I think it's really important to acknowledge the ways in which, you know, certain groups have been controlled. And so when you look throughout uh, history, shaving someone's head was a form of stripping them away from their strength, from their wisdom, from their culture even, and from their protection. A lot of us know the story of the Bible about Samson and he had long hair and his hair was his strength. Delilah who shaved her, his head off. Another one, uh, during many slave trades, their heads were shaved when they were sold into slavery. Stripped them away of not only their their roots of spirituality and, and really the, the hairstyles, all the, the different hairstyles of different tribes, different cultures, different spiritual belief systems and values were, were embedded in the styles of their hair and that was stripped away. 
And then we all know that, you know, in the US, when you go into the military, what do you have to do? You have to shave your head. If you're a man, at least, you have to shave your head. You have to be stripped of your, your identity, but not only your identity, of some of your strength, of some of your protection. And that is often a way that officials, whoever the person, the high, higher ranking person is who forces us into that state is trying to get us in a state of vulnerability, of, of feeble mindedness, really. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm just going to stop here because I feel like I've been talking for a long time, but that is the spirituality of not only hair but locks as well what resonated the most with you in this video let me know in the comments down below and i hope to see you in the next video until then i'm sending peace your way love your way enjoy to you your family and your friends all right y'all peace